Hey guys, Terrence here. Today I'll be doing a review on a hidden leaf table that we just bought for our kitchen. Um, it's an awesome kitchen set, I really like it. And I'll be doing some little updates um, to the kitchen. We got the house about a year ago. I did the entire kitchen. I made it look beautiful. However, we ran out of budget. We weren't able to buy a dining set. So we just went back with our old set that we had for some years. And the table was okay, but the chairs was kind of shot. And we finally saved up a budget to purchase the new dining set, guys. And I'll show you guys um, the set we purchased. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna do a review on it. And if you wanna watch me perform the upgrades to the kitchen, continue to watch this video. If you wanna skip the review, here's the time right now that you can kinda go to in the video and see the review of the hidden leaf table. But if you wanna be entertained slightly and watch me um, do the kitchen and see how it looks from start to finish, That'll be awesome. So I'm about to get in here and get started, removing all the old stuff out the kitchen and prepping my area up as I install the minor little upgrades to the kitchen and make everything look nice. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, I got my panel that I'll be using. I got a variety of panels up here. Let me show you guys. Really nice panels here. going to use this design right they also have this design right I used these for a previous project if you guys can see it has texture like a wood grain texture and a paneling and this is the one I'm using just a smooth finish it's got a different variety for Many, many applications. Here, guys, I'll be using. I'll get three of these. 30 bucks for this eight feet chair rail. I got about 20 feet of coverage that I'll be using, so I need three of these. Okay, guys, I got my area cleared out. The first thing we're going to do is remove this trim. I want to show this floor, guys. This floor been up for about a year. We had the table here that was uh, didn't have any felt padding underneath the legs, and I was in fear of it scrap scratching the floor. Since the kids move the chairs in and out frequently, uh, there's no scratches on this floor. This um, it's a little dirty, but the perfect seal flooring is remarkable. No scratching whatsoever. I'm very impressed, especially with the high traffic that. Was in this area, um, nothing, not a scratch, not a mark, not a scuff. It's been down for approximately a year. I finished this kitchen around August, and um, this is August. So, first thing I'm gonna do, guys, as you can see, the trim is dirty. But I'm gonna remove all the trim. Take my uh, utility knife and score the caulking and I'm gonna reuse it so I'll put it back got some little small pry bars just trying to pry it loose make sure I'm careful I don't want to break it so I'll put it back but um, I can put the paneling over on top of the trim I just want such a professional look um, I've done both but the this is the most laborious removing the trim and placing the panels on correctly so I'm um, gonna move the outlet covers and we're gonna get going, guys. I'm gonna get started. Okay, guys, uh, the outlet cords, I mean, the outlet covers are removed and all the trim is, has been removed. And I use this scraper to make sure the surface is smooth. The preparation will show. You have to prep this surface, otherwise um, you won't get a clean mounting of the panels. So I'm gonna make sure this surface is free of obstructions and clear, and it's gonna look really nice when I'm done. So, uh, let me start cutting panels. Okay guys, I got one of my panels out. I'm gonna uh, you clamp this down to get a straight edge, the circular saw. You wanna cut this, these panels always from the back to get a clean cut, even though the trim is gonna have the rough edges. Um, I prefer still a clean cut, so I cut from the back. Okay guys, uh, my straight edge clamped down so I can just run a smooth cut with the circular saw um, without worrying about messing up, even though um, I can just 
I don't have to use this. I can just come close as I can to this line. I'll just take my time and go um, because I'll place the rough part towards the bottom. Just make this to the top, even though it don't matter. Both of them will be hidden by trim. So I'm um, just going to do it like this so I can just have a straight cut panel and not mess up um, the other part of the board any event I need it or I can use it. Okay, I got my sections cut out, pre-cut already, and I'm gonna start gluing and nailing any second. I'll be nailing just to hold the panels in place. Maybe a nail here, one here, through at the bottom. Okay guys, I applied me some glue using this power grab. Okay guys, just got some nails at the top to hold in place. I'm at the bottom, I'm getting by the trim just to hold it up there. That power um, grab, once it creates a suction against the panel on the wall, it's not going anywhere. So, uh, let me get this measured and cut out on this next panel. Okay guys, I'm done trimming and putting panels up. Watch how it looks when I work my magic with the caulk tomorrow and do the painting. So, uh, where we are right now and I'll show y'all the finished product when I work my magic okay guys I'm done caulking you see I got my caulk down there um thing came out beautiful okay guys I'm about to put my second coat on everything is looking really good I even went ahead and did that side guys it looked kind of awkward. I was like, you know what? Let me go over to the side over there and finish that up. Um, glad I did. Um, just kind of even touching up around the kitchen area, around the island. Just touching up, um, putting another coat of paint on there because it had it did get dirty. Um, but as you guys can see, it's looking good. One more coat. Should finish it off, should give us that look. And we can kind of put things in place. But, um, looking really, really good, guys. Really, really good. Okay, guys, second coat is on. Everything looks really, 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 really good. Um, I even kind of went around there, there, did some stuff there. All the little white trim making it look nice. Yeah, I'm gonna do a third coat though, guys. I'm gonna do a third coat. It looks really, really good. Um, kinda hit a third coat on it. The, all the trim looks real good. Uh, yeah, I'm very impressed with everything. It's looking good. So, uh, I'm gonna do a third coat and uh, finish this project up. Yeah. Okay, blood outlets, covers, outlet covers on. Uh, cleaning up right now. Got a new register. All the trim is nice and neat. Unboxing these other two pieces for the base. So far, power guys. This is the boxes for the chairs. This is heavy. This is the uh, mechanism, right? The first part of the assembly requires the legs. Kind of. Slap in the slot. And 
has three screws that go in there. Super easy. So this is how it sits up. So I'll attach both legs with it quick. As you guys can see, there's three on that side as well. Okay, guys, I got 12 of these long screws, two of these short screws. The long screws go at the end and a short screw in the middle. I'm not sure why, but the short screw goes in the center and that's it. Faces. The bottom is super simple, guys. Okay, guys, we're done assembling the table. Super simple. Ten minutes max. Think about putting some felt pads here so it can kind of slide easy on the floor. And um, I don't know these plastics, please. I don't know if they're scuffed, but. Leave them on and screw off. All right, we're about to turn it over, guys, and um, put the chairs up to it. So uh, it matches our setup really, really nice, guys. So hopefully, it looks really nice with the chairs we set up. I'll show you guys how the table fun. I love this table. It's huge. It's heavy. Um, it's seven feet sitting as it sits. It goes out to nine feet. Really nice, guys. This foam still in the quarter hidden leaf edge. She has to unlock it here. Has a locking mechanism in there. Yep, in the lock. And as well on the other side. On both sides. It slides out. She pulls it up. There's a handle here. And that's out. Hold on, there's pins, let me show the pins. There's pins here. And push in. We have a party. Push in, Christian. There you go, simple. See, look at it, guys, it's nice. And then you lock it back and put it. Yeah, you can lock it back. Here and there. Oh, this is nice. You actually can lock it on the leaf itself. So that's two latches when it goes nine feet, guys. Look at that thing. Pretty big. So it seats eight chairs now. Yeah, we're gonna leave it at the six mode, but we still have room to have a nice little party here if we wanted to. All right, we're gonna. Okay, she poured it. how easy it is to let in guys. Oh that's nice. Really nice. That's it. Really nice. So I'll show you guys a video with the chairs getting we um set the chairs up guys and I'm gonna close this video out. These are the chairs uh, as they sit in the box they come pre-assembled. Yeah I'll fully assembled. Yeah, This is washable. Man, that's nice. That feels good. It's a faux leather. Is it? Yes, it's not real. It's a faux leather. Okay, guys, I'm closing out this video. Um, this table looks absolutely beautiful here. Really love it. The texture of this faux leather is really good, guys. Wipeable. I really like how it feels. The chairs are not that heavy. Guys, the one thing I left out was me sitting in the chairs and showing you guys how it feels. They're very comfortable, they're very firm. They sit your body in an upright position and they're just an all around great feel. So this chair can be more functional. Um, yeah, but absolutely love this table, guys. Looks nice. This is not completely white, guys. It's like in the white family. It's like a off-white okay it's like an off-white and kind of really pay attention to the different tones of the white like this white you kind of see kind of and so but it adds color and flair to the kitchen and i like it so you gotta get the curtain back up guys hang a little picture on the wall and it's a wrap for this hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell so you guys will be notified when i upload new content terrence and i'm out